I am a king of this level and I'm going to the level 2 and I'm going to the level 1 and I'm going to level 3 and I'm going to the level 1 and I'm still going going to level 4 and I am on a good position every time. This is tutorial about it. For the start setup we can use the project from the last video how to switch scenes using the door and the code is on the description. Just click it, don't land it and let's go. After open the project, you should have a situation like this. When you run it, you have the first level, the player can go to the second level, but he can't go back. So we need to fix it. To do it, you need to open the door script and change this line. In the previous project, we were using the packet scenes, which is okay. When we have the situation when the level 1 have a level 2 as a packet scene, everything is okay. But when you need to go back to previous level, for example, the level 2 have a level 1 as a packet scene, we are creating an endless loop because the level 1 have a level 2 as a packet scene, and this level 2 have a level 1 as a packet scene, and this level 1 have a level 2, and so on. The solution is use the strings. So let's change this line for the string parameter, read from file with the extension which are ending with the scene or the tree scene. The second thing we need to change on the script is this parameter because like you can read on the documentation, the change string, uh, the change scene are getting the string parameter, but the change scene too are taking the packet scene. Now we need to update the level 1 door and the second level to go back to first level and everything should working. Let's go tick 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 tick. Back. We are in the level second and we are back in the first level. This method is working also when you have uh, more levels, so let's create them. This solution is working fine for the many levels. Like you can see, when I'm going to level 3, I'm on the level 3. When I'm going to level 4, surprise, I'm on the level 4. The problem with this solution uh, is that the player is always on the one position. And this is the start position, so everything is working because we don't have the analogy to change this. So let's change this. To achieve this, we need to use the global nodes. If you don't know what the global nodes are, please watch my tutorial how to do the music controller for Gadoo. We have a great global variable that we can use to pass the arguments between the levels. For example, we, when we are going to level 1 and change this variable, we can read it on the level 2, on the level 3, no matter where. That is a theory, let's go to the practice. Let's go to the door script. Let's change this name, the door name, to the name of this door that is using the script and go to level 1. Add script, level 1 is a great name, and here on the ready function, let's print this vari variable, global name, uh, door name. Let's open the project, and now it's null, because on the start, like you remember, we have the null variable, but when we will use the door, which name, which is the name door2, and back to this level, we will have the door, because now we have the door2 on this level, but this door is named by door, and that's why we have the door inside this console. 
So now we can use this for the connection be the, between the door. Next step that we need to do is to connect the names. So for example, when we are on the level two, this door should have the same name like this door. And this door, of course, the same name like this door. So we will have the information about which door to use. So let me give a second. We'll change this to door three, this to door, door three, and this for the door number four. So now look at the console. When we will back from level two, we will have the name door two. And here also we'll have the nice situation. So now we have the information which door we need to use. Next step is very easy because we need to just do the position, take the position from the door and attach it to the player. Let's go to the script level one and here will be the code, code for um, finding the door. At first let's check if the global door name isn't null. That is enough. Next, let's find the node by the name. Find node is a standard function for, function for it. And now if the door node exists, let's use Let's change the player global position to door node global position. And that should be enough. Let's test it. We are on the level two and we are near the door of level one, two. Yeah, everything is working but the player is not on the middle of the door. It is because of my door scene, because the global position of door is here and in, for the player is here. So if I will move this to the middle and of course the global position, uh, the collision box and yeah, we'll change these doors. Everything should work. Let's go to this door. Go back. Ta-da! And here. Ta-da! And here. So we need only need to change these labels, but probably this is not important for this tutorial. So thanks for watching, have a nice day and so on.